Hi, I'm Adam Gotkin, uh, Biology uh, Class 8 AM Group uh, 31. Um, I chose to go to the Outback Organic Farm uh, as uh, part of the Fairhaven campus over there um, to uh, do two hours worth of uh, service learning. Uh, that's uh, basically uh, gardening help. Um, took me a couple of weeks to get through the process of, of getting there, actually. Uh, but on 3 p.m. Uh, 3 p.m. with uh, Nick Rappas, uh, we finally did did make it there on a on a Wednesday to finish up um, our course requirements there. So uh, the Outback Organic Farm is mostly uh, about doing things uh, without the aids of chemical fertilizers or pesticides. Uh, they make use of biointensive agriculture. Um, and do sort of a, a two a two tier sort of uh, of farming technique. So what you've got in certain circumstances is you'll have like a ground cover, uh, which will work as a natural uh, pest uh, pest prevention sort of a thing. Um, they'll have like a bitter a bitterness in their in their leaves that is unattractive to them, and then that'll protect um, the upper level plants like something like a tomato or whatnot, which will uh, in turn um, provide uh, a little bit of shade for these ground cover plants um, while their root structures go a little bit deeper and hold in the water there to prevent uh, erosion and uh, when the ground covers are taking up this upper here. So the ground covers take care of the surface level erosion and then the uh, deeper level plants will uh, help to hold in that soil and then eventually um, redeposit nutrients back in the soil in the, uh, in the off season. Um, and since everything is, is staggered, uh, you're going to see a, a pretty stable level of available phosphorus and nitrogen in the soil, uh, which is different than in a, a mono a monocrop uh, sort of situation. Um, so most of the two hours that we spent there was spent just doing uh, weeding uh, and aerating the soil to prep for uh, the new the new planting, which is happening in the fall, I guess. Um, or, or just after that. Uh, they had a, a pretty great variety of plants all, all around, all sort of mixed together, um, not really in a row type of a situation, but uh, in um, they're, they're uh, planted in that intensive way that, that I said, said before, uh, which is beneficial to each individual plant in the system, as well as to the, uh, the, the larger ecology uh, in, in terms of, of not being as invasive to the surrounding area, uh, also not uh, providing uh, chemical runoff, um, which can be dangerous both for the water table for us personally, and then also for uh, the local fauna in in the area. So it's it's definitely a benefit to them that we're not we're not using uh, not using those chemical fertilizers or pesticides there. Uh, so simply put, um, the Outlook Farm. Uh, is a, a small model of what could potentially be used uh, in a large, large system to to not only make it more efficient, uh, but to uh, lessen our dependence upon chemical solutions um, and monocropping uh, in, a, in a larger level. Thank you.